There are many theories about how Odd Fellowship first started and received its name. The most widely accepted belief is that it emerged in England from a group of working class men who fell outside the established system of trade guilds. These men banded together to form their own labor union. Fellows from numerous odd trades gathered together to form a fraternity so to protect and care for their members and communities. Historically, there was no welfare state, trade unions, or national health insurance. These men would work together to help each other and the unfortunate families in their community get back on their feet by aiding each other in times of sickness and distress. Whether it was rebuilding a barn that had burned or putting in a new crop after a devastating season, such men became known as Odd Fellows, so named by the general population who also thought they were an odd bunch of fellows who would behave in such a seemingly impractical, altruistic, and selfless fashion. The group then adopted the name. By the 1700s, there were numerous Odd Fellow organizations in the UK. In 1810, a number of lodges in the Manchester area created the Independent Order of Odd Fellows with the title Manchester Unity. With their improved system, they were able to persuade other Odd Fellow organizations to join their unity. They also chartered the Independent Order of Odd Fellows in America, founded on April 26, 1819, by Thomas Wildey and four other members of the fraternity from England. The American Order then established many branches around the world. On September 20th, 1851, the Odd Fellows became the first fraternal organization to accept women when they adopted the Rebecca degree. It was also the first fraternal organization to establish homes for the elderly and for orphan children. Many lodges also built and managed cemeteries for a decent burial for the deceased. During the golden age of fraternalism, the Odd Fellows were the largest fraternal organization in the world. The World Almanac showed that it had over 3.4 million members in 1915. Although non-political and non-sectarian, and contrary to the belief that it was just a working man's organization, it also claimed many notable members, which included six U.S. presidents, such as Franklin Roosevelt and Warren G. Harding, as well as many senators, governors, and community leaders. Lucy Hobbs Taylor, the first female American dentist, was also a member of the order. The Odd Fellows and Rebecca's also played a very important part in establishing many U.S. statehoods. Texas and California among those and many others. Law and Order was established by the organization in many localities. Historically, Odd Fellows Lodge Halls also played the part of the community center, where people would gather and conduct community activities. In many cities, Odd Fellow Lodges were the first organizations of any type, and a large number of their lodges have completed their first 100 years of service. Locally, nationally, and internationally, the Odd Fellows and Rebecca's are involved in various charitable causes and humanitarian endeavors. The order donates over $775 million in relief projects annually. Their educational foundation gives scholarships and low-interest student loans to qualified applicants every year since 1927. They are also regular donors to the Arthritis Foundation, Visual Eye Research Foundation, American Heart Association, and many more. Their Living Legacy program has planted more than 8 million trees worldwide. Since 1949, the United Nations Pilgrimage sponsors high school students on a one-week trip to New York to visit the United Nations. The organization also manages more than 80 homes for the elderly and orphans, as well as several recreation camps and parks available for the whole family. They also help build and sponsor the SOS Children's Village, which houses 150 orphaned and AIDS-affected children ages 0 to 17 in Cambodia. They sponsor a float in the Rose Parade in California every year. They are the only fraternal organization permitted to conduct a pilgrimage to the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier and given the honor of bestowing a grand decoration of chivalry award upon an unknown soldier. They are indeed Oddfellows. Become a member now.